In this video, we will take a look at creating a template and from that template, how do we go about creating a glossary? Log on to your Alation instance and from the settings menu, get on to the admin settings page. Once on this page, click customize catalog. And here you can see there are three tabs custom fields, custom templates, and custom field permissions. In custom fields, you can define fields for object sets, people sets, references, pickers, and multi select pickers, as well as rich text fields. Now, object sets are about data policies, related glossary terms, and relevant data. You can create an object set. You can select what type of object set that applies to and so on and so forth. Similarly, you can collect, uh, create a people set field by clicking on the plus sign here. You can just say probably uh, developer, developer, and you can say developer of uh, data glossary. And once you click save, let's see what the issue is here. Yeah, I think I say save and yeah, I think the error was related to the number of characters here and I click save here and yes, that field has been saved and if you can see it has been added here. Similarly, I can create fields for references here. I can collect multi-select, which are nothing but drop downs and rich text fields. Now, if I move on to the custom template, I can define templates, templates for data object templates. Like if I have to define a data source, I can really select custom fields and define that. You can see the data source page is defined this uh, in the following way where you have a description, schemas, queries, domains, and everything. Similarly, you have article templates. Now, for the ease of understanding, I've already gone ahead and defined a template named as data glossary. And in that data glossary, I have chosen the fields. Now, these fields can come from standard Alicia fields or the fields that we have defined. So right now, I have defined or I have selected these fields to be part of this particular template. If you can see the developers field that we had defined earlier is now available available to me to be selected here will not create a new template but will straightforward go to creating the glossaries so you have defined custom fields you have defined custom templates based on those custom fields and some predefined fields you can also define custom field permissions like who can edit who can view these fields but will not touch that right now and we'll go to defining glossaries. So I get onto the glossary page. I create a new glossary. I can give a title here saying that demo relation glossary. I'll have to add a template here. Depending on all the templates, I, I'll probably go ahead and select the data glossary template that I have defined and then I can cl click save. Now what's going to happen is by default, because I had defined this glossary with the same template of data glossary where we already have 40 articles, all the articles which were written with that data glossary template have been auto tagged to this glossary. And this is a good feature because you don't have to manually go and kind of tag an articles against a glossary. As long as you have a template defined, and articles are getting defined against that template, they'll be auto collected under the same glossary heading. So my suggestion to you would be like, as you have seen here, if you are creating a new glossary and you want to use a similar template, just rename the template to something which relates to the glossary and create an article with that. So